What's up, Metal Guitar Gods? I'm John Sawicki. I am the vocalist and guitarist in the Los Angeles melodic death metal band Viminal. And today we're going to have a guitar lesson, talk about a shred and soloing technique that I use a lot and that I've heard other people use a lot that's super simple and yet very versatile. We're going to look at the speed picking section in Kill the Boy. So the basic idea here is we're going to treat a melodic idea like we would a chord shape. So if you think about chords, right, usually in guitar, when we talk about chords on guitar, we're talking about shapes. So the shape for a, let's say a um, G, or it's technically an F, I'm drop tuned, a uh, G chord, same shape for let's say an E chord or a D. Right? Same shape, I'm just using power chords to illustrate the point. You can take that shape and play chords all over the neck using that same shape. Well, you can actually do the same thing in terms of thinking about your scales and solo and, and licks in your solos. I've actually heard some other guitar players talk about this. John Petrucci has a cool video about it. I think he calls it using, I think he calls it like the box approach. But in any event, let's just start by looking at the actual shape here. So the basic melody, I'll play it very slow, is just a, uh, an E, again, I'm drop tuned, so it's, a, it's technically a D, but let's just call it uh, an E so everyone can follow along. An E harmonic minor shape. All right, so it looks like this. Super easy, I'll do it one more time. So that's our shape. The actual full section goes like this. So if you look, what we're doing is just taking this shape and starting it at four different frets. Four different frets. So the idea is just that because I came up with that one shape, now I can just punch it in in different places and shred all over the neck. And maybe because it's so fast, it just sounds like a flurry of notes, or maybe it actually, you know, depending on the listener, maybe it has a coherence to it. It sounds like a repeating pattern. The point is, is I just wanted to have a crazy fast section there, and rather than have some just random, you know, assortment of notes as I'm going up and down a scale or something, I wanted to have more of a pattern. And that, from a compositional perspective, actually makes everything easier, because I'm not writing, I'm basically only wanting, writing one idea and then using it four times rather than coming up with four different ideas. Now real quick, I wanna mention what's happening with the A minor section there. Because we're treating the melody kind of like we would a chord, we not only can move around the neck, but we can also use the melody, the, the melodic shape to imply different harmonic stuff that's going on. If you look at the, um, the, um, the rhythm guitar riff that's happening at the same time, you get that that's uh, G sharp that doesn't really fit in the key and yet just kind of works in that riff. I don't know why, but it sounds good. So it's happening in that, in that riff during the solo and you could just ignore it because it's so brief, but what I've done in this section that I think kind of is cool is I've decided to use that as an opportunity, this, this part that I know. Just that you can actually use that as an opportunity to temporarily modulate to a new key. And I bring that out in the solo. So we start in E harmonic minor. And then rather than staying in E harmonic minor, we sort of I'm sort of using this as an excuse to temporarily be in A harmonic minor. And so all I've done is taken that same shape and I just play an A harmonic minor. And the other thing about this is that it, it allows me to play more. It allows me to use that lick now instead of three times as I would with just playing the octave and do it actually four times. 
um, fill up four bars, sort of get that get that symmetry there. So my invitation to you is to come up with your own pattern or shape, uh, your own melodic lick, and see where you can just punch it in around the neck, basically jumping octaves. And share it with me. I'd like to see what you guys come up with. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna be doing more guitar lesson videos like this, both talking about viminal stuff, but also just talking about guitar things in general that I learned, I just spit. I hope you didn't see that on camera. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. If you'd like to support Viminal, you can go ahead and check our links in the description. Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, whatever the fuck else. Um, we also have a band camp where you can download all of our music for free. If you'd like to buy us a beer or put some gas in our car, you can go ahead and uh, pay whatever the hell you want for the music. Otherwise, please leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video. Click that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more cool shit. I am John. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.